Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to Wax Wednesday. I can't believe it's April. <laughs> I can't believe it's April. Oh my gosh, it just hit 2019, like what, yesterday? What the heck? So I have my wax empties for you guys today. I'm really happy with the amount that I was able to use up in March. Could I have done better? Probably. Um, but I don't have a lot of like half burned products or half used products in my collection. So when I do go through something, it's usually because I went through the entire thing like all at once. So it does take me a little while to get through candles and things like that because I hate doing half burned and then putting them back in the closet, if that makes sense. So I'm going to um, go through everything that I used up. We will start with, um, probably like the wax melts and then move into the candles so let's begin um I do have a bunch of these right here and I'll try to get through them really quick these are all just some sample uh wax melts that my Sensi consultant sent over to me to try out um this first one here is the bell it was part of the Disney collection and this one is an and what what did I just say this one is in enchanted rose you guys know how I feel about rose don't like it I did use it couldn't stand it. Nothing against the scent. It's just not my favorite. So um, definitely would not purchase that one. This one here is Poppy Fields. I think this was the scent of the month for March. I think it was the scent of the month for March. Um, and this one was uh, Poppy Fig and Rose Petals. Again, yes, this has rose in it, but it was more on like the under note, like the last note you get was rose. So I did melt this in my bedroom and it actually wasn't that bad. Nothing that I would repurchase, but it definitely was tolerable by somebody like me who hates rose. <laughs> um, this next one here was in the scent Luna and Luna was white florals. So Jasmine, Sweet Pea and Freesia, Juicy Berries and Sandalwood Shimmer. Um, it wasn't horrible. Again, it just wasn't my favorite. It had more of like that ambery kind of cashmere scent from what I could tell in my bedroom. And again, it's just not something that I would go out and repurchase. Strawberry Champagne Truffle. This one for me was a complete and total dud. I could not smell this at all. Even standing over top of it, could not smell it. And I've heard a lot of people say that too. Um, and this one is fresh strawberries, creamy vanilla, and a splash of champagne. I got none of that. So definitely not a repurchase. Mulan, true to your heart. This one was plum blossom, white tea, and redwood. This one actually wasn't too, too bad. It was definitely a bright fruit scent. Um, Again, not something I would repurchase. This just wasn't a good month for me for samples. Um, okay, flannel. This is my last wallflower ever. I will never purchase them again. I just don't like them. They dud out halfway through on me. This was my last one, and this one was in the scent flannel, which I had in my bathroom, which was crisp autumn air, bergamot, mahogany, and musk. Just a great, like, woodsy kind of winter bathroom scent, I guess. Okay, so now we're moving into actual physical melts and not samples. This first one here is by Midnight Daydream Wax Company. I've talked about Harrison before. He's a vendor wax from Instagram. Great products, great scents. And this one was Salted Caramel Praline. And it was Salted Vanilla Caramel, Dark Brown Sugar, and Toasted Pecans. This was such a good, good wax. Oh, it's, it's still so strong and it's empty. Um, this one definitely had that praline. It wasn't like a cookie. It was definitely that thin praline wafer. It had the salted caramel that you could tell was salty. Like that's what I love about his scents is they're super authentic. Um, so it had that real like deep richness of that cream and the saltiness. Oh, it was delicious. Another vendor wax, this was from Zany Laney, and this one is in the scent Run, which is citrus, cinnamon, blueberry, and vanilla. Believe it or not, I used this in my bathroom. Don't ask me why, I just really liked it in the bathroom. The cinnamon is actually pretty strong in there, but when it mixes with the blueberry and citrus, it, I don't know, it was a very, very strange combination to me. I do have one more of these, I think it's halfway gone, but once it's gone, I would not repurchase it. Um, and this one was in the scent Mocha Doodle. I do have a full-size bar of this as well. I like it. It's okay. Um, it's kind of like a hot cocoa sort of scent with a little bit of coffee. It reminds me of the scent of like a Dunkin' Donuts Dunkachino. Okay, then we have Gingerbread Donut. Now, I don't believe this one's available right now. I don't know if they're bringing it back. No idea. This one definitely has a lot of ginger, but this one is kind of touch and go. Sometimes I like it, and then other times I don't. There is a doughiness to this. I wouldn't call it like a donut donut. It does have some kind of bakery dough. Sometimes gingerbread smells like a gingerbread man, gingerbread cookie. Other times it smells almost like a curry, which is very, very off-putting. And this had a tendency sometimes to smell very curry-ish. So I'm not gonna repurchase this if they do bring it back. But if you're not like hyper over analytic of your scents, 
then you might actually really like that one. This next one here I have hoarded for so long and I don't know why because it's been available pretty much the entire time. I have no reason to hoard it but I did. Um, and this one is in the sense Satin Sheets. I really liked this. I'm not gonna repurchase it because I kind of got myself sick of it from melting it so much in my bedroom, but this is a fantastic bedroom scent. I don't know the notes 100% on this. I don't really have a way to look it up at the moment. It's definitely more of a soft cashmere amber type of scent. It's very soft, but I mean, it's strong, very strong. This is one of the stronger uh, wax melts I ever had from Scentsy. Strong meaning long lasting, not overpowering. Um, but it's a soft, like a warm blanket kind of, you know, all consuming scent. So I really do recommend this. I really do. It's a very beautiful, elegant, very, like I said, soft scent. I just got sick of it because I burned it so much. <laughs> um, this one here, oh, this one is a total whoopsie do regret that I did not put this in my Scentsy Club subscription. I really hope they bring this back next year because I did not expect to like this as much as I do. Um, and this one is in the scent of Vanilla Mint. And I believe this was new for 2018 holiday. Oh my God. Okay, I was expecting it to smell like vanilla and mint. Fine, but there is something else in this, some kind of sweetness in this Oh my God, it's so freaking good. It is one of the best performing wax melts I've used from Scentsy. I love it. I do have one more bar that I'm definitely going to hoard unless they bring it back. And this one I actually finished up yesterday. Um, and this is in the scent Rainbows and Butterflies. This one was actually quite surprising to me. I did like it a lot. Not enough to repurchase. It's just like a kind of fun effervescent fruity scent very fresh and springy. It's a great transition from winter into spring because it's very light and, you know, bubbly and happy. So I did really like that, but not enough to repurchase it. And I think I just have two Yankee uh, wax melts and then on to candles. So this first Yankee candle is left over from the holidays. And this one is in the scent Holiday Apple Wreath. I did like this, but it's not unique at all. This is very much like body care apple cinnamon. It, it's really what it is. You do get a lot of the apple and it's it's a good apple. You get the cinnamon. It's a good cinnamon. It's not red hot. It's a bakery cinnamon. I don't get a lot of the wreath in there. There's a little bit of a woodsiness to it, but overall this is something that I could pick up in any brand and it would probably smell exactly the same so I wouldn't go on my way to repurchase that one. Okay, really quick, I wanna talk about this one for just a second. Um, this one is by Yankee and it's Moonlit Night. This is one of my favorite, one of my only cologne masculine type of scents that I do like. I'm not into masculine scents anymore. I used to be very cologne based, you know, scent preference, not even close anymore. I do really like this one. It's way more expensive feeling than just your typical cologne scent. It's not cloying or anything like that. It's very, Oh, it's hard to describe you guys, but what I wanted to talk about this for, they are inexpensive, you can get them at Walmart, but you need to use them quickly. And the reason why you need to use them quickly is because the oils in these, for them being so strong, tend to leak out of the packaging over time. So because this packaging is actually meant to stand up this way, if you notice on this one specifically, because this one's very strong, do you see all the oil? That's not wax, that's oils. So what they do is when you do store them properly the way they want you to, it leaks down into here and then it comes out these little holes in the hinge right here and drips onto everything that's underneath it. So if you do have these and you do want to store them successfully, store them this way. That way nothing can get up and out. Instead, they just kind of pool down in here. Um, but I still would recommend using them up within a, probably a year to two years max because they do get really, really gross. So I won't stop repurchasing them for that reason, but I mean, you can still, there's, there, it's getting on my hands too. It's just not the cleanest packaging. I wish they would kind of change the way that they uh, package their products. Okay, so we have six candles, five are from Bath and Body Works, and one of them is actually from Michaels. So we'll start with the Michaels one. Um, this is by the brand Ashland, which is like the one that Michaels carries. Um, and this was from Christmas time. This was in the scent Wassail Wishes, which basically is just kind of like a apple cider, or like a hot toddy, that kind of scent. There's almost no scent left in this. I can I can get a hint of it in here, but most of the wax or is just unfragranced at this point after being in the crock. I loved the scent of this. This lasted like two straight weeks, 24 hours a day running in my candle crock. I, if you guys don't know what a candle crock is, by the way, I will try to put some information down below like always, um, and I will do a video on them. That way I don't have to explain it every single video, um, but they're not overly readily available right now, so. 
there's that. Um, this next one here, I'm not gonna open up and show you because I used this kind of as like a dump catch for all of my wax melts that were going in my bedroom. So when I would run, you know, when they would run out of scent, I would just dump them into this candle container. So it literally looks like a rainbow of wax in there, that's all. Um, but this burned great. This went right down to the bottom, no complaints, no burn issues. And this one is Bath & Body Works Coconut Sandalwood. The notes on this were coconut palm, sandalwood, warm musk, and jasmine. It was just a very like, you know, warm coconut type of scent, but it had that itty bitty bit of like sandalwood sourness, if that makes sense. So I wouldn't repurchase it if it came back, but it is a really nice um, summery kind of scent. Okay, so this one I was kind of completely torn on. I, first let's talk about what it is. This is Crushed Candy Cane by White Barn. Now I have heard with this particular scent that the packaging made a difference. So this particular packaging was very, very weak in scent or strength and throw. And I heard the other version of it in a different packaging was a lot better as far as, you know, being stronger. This one I had burning in this room. You guys might've seen it actually in a couple of videos sitting behind me. But when it was in this room, after, you know, one or two hours of pooling out, it did scent up the room really well. Granted, this room is very small um, and it didn't really travel too far out of it. So what I did was I burned it down to about a little bit under the halfway point, if you can see right here. And then what happened was it got super smoky, like wax turned so dingy. I don't know if you can see in there. It got really nasty and very like burnt smelling. So I ended up putting it into the candle crock where I finished it off and I couldn't even smell it when I went in the candle crock. It was just like all the oils were gone. It started to get really, like I said, disgusting and dingy. There's no scent in this. I definitely would not repurchase this scent. Um, if I want another candy cane scent from Bath & Body Works, I will most definitely go with like a Twisted Peppermint because that one performs really well. Um, and this one was just crunchy peppermint and white sugar crystals. So not overly unique, definitely not a repurchase based on the performance alone. This next one was a complete surprise. Loved this candle. This was from 2018 as well, um, holiday 2018. So this was toasted vanilla chai. This one was actually quite a surprise because I was not expecting this to be as strong as it was. This was very nice. Um, there's a little bit of blue in there because I dumped one uh, like wax from my bedroom into this candle before I brought it upstairs. But otherwise this performed really well in the beginning. I did end up actually letting this live the rest of its life in the candle crock because it got a little bit uneven with the burn. There was a little bit of wax residue kind of pooling up on one side. So I just put it in the crock and let it all melt down. This was very, very strong. Um, and this one is ginger and nutmeg with cinnamon and clove. This smelled like a really good bakery tea, like a very strong vanilla, creamy, delicious drink. It, it was really good, you guys. It almost reminded me of like a white chocolate. It was very similar to a white chocolate, um, but I would definitely repurchase this again. This scented up my bedroom for like a good week and a half in the warmer, in the crock. No complaints other than that little funky bit of burning on the edges. So definitely, definitely loved that one. Okay, this next one here, I don't have a candle to show you because I'm an idiot and I dropped it. So this was in the scent flannel. You guys saw that in my what I'm burning slash melting video that I did. This is the cap <laughs> because I went to go put the remainder of that candle in my candle crock downstairs and I dropped it and it broke. So couldn't even put it in the crock. Um, this one burned fine. It, it had a great performance. I said that even in that video that it was performing very, very well. It wasn't sooty or anything like that. It didn't smell burnt. It was a great performer. It was an older candle. I believe that one was 2014 pour. So um, either 2014 or 2015. So those ones did perform pretty well for me overall. This one, I like the scent, but I don't love it. It reminded me a lot of like a fancy like bathroom scent. It, it just wasn't my favorite. It was super strong though. This was one of the few candles that I would actually blow out after a few hours because it was just so lingering and strong. Um, but flannel definitely was a really good performer. And I saved my favorite for last and I'm so sad that this is gone. Like you have no idea. If you guys know of any scents that have come out or are coming out that are repackages of this fragrance, please let me know. Or if you know any dupes, I don't care. I want this scent back in my life and they haven't brought it back yet. So this is Bath & Body Works Vanilla Bourbon Peach. This has very much the same aura and scent about it as Raspberry Peach Macaron, which I love. This one did not perform very well at all though. Um, as you can see, there's a little bit of sooting over this side. 
um, one of the wicks extinguished itself early and then the other ones like kept going so it left this weird like tunnel pool thing in there so I ended up just throwing it in the crock when it reached this point right here but even with that much wax this thing scented up my bedroom which by the way my bedroom is 500 square feet it is massively huge so it's basically the size of like a small apartment and it scented up the entire thing with a warmer running 24 7 for over a week I mean this sucker was strong um this thing would go in the entire house every room of the house you could smell this burning even on burning, it was fantastic. So the notes in this are bur vanilla bourbon, lush white peach, and sugared musk. I love this. I love it so much. It was creamy. It was peachy. It was just decadent. It wasn't overly boozy either. You can get the vanilla in there with the bourbon, but it's not like, you know, punch you in the face alcohol. Oh, I love this so much. I have a feeling this was a repackage of raspberry peach macaron or at least very, very similar to it. But either way, they're both gone. So, you know, screw me. But I would definitely repurchase this in bulk if it came back simply to put back in my crock. I mean, I don't even care about the burn issue. I want it just for the scent of it. And that's it, you guys. Thank you so much for watching my empties. I'm hoping April's gonna be even better. I really wanna get through more wax for April because I feel like I just have an abundance of wax. Obviously, look at my last haul, you guys, like, hello. Um, so yeah, <laughs> I wanna get through a lot more for April, but we'll see how that goes. Let me know down below if you guys um, have burned any of these candles or melted whatever and what you think of them. Thank you guys again for watching. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave and I will see you on the next video. Bye guys.